Oh just... my, are you Danielle from Cutting Caboose? Yeah! Why am I here? <laughs> Hello gorgeous, how are you doing? What an interesting first day, it's been amazing. Met up with Nick and Juan. Thailand is amazing, by the way. I'm checking into the hospital and I'll have um, medical tests and the last psychological evaluation to make sure I'm not mental. Can't guarantee I'm gonna pass that one. And tomorrow's the big day. The messages from you guys. Oh my God, you're amazing. So believe it or not, this is the hospital. And look at this. It's got like a chandelier, then like their logo. It's so nice. So the place is absolutely beautiful. Look at this. You've got like a fancy chandelier and pretty curtains. I don't know if you saw just coming up behind me there. Um, but she's transsexual as well. There's lots of transgender people in the staff. Yeah, some of the girls here are absolutely stunning. And the surgeon, of course, I mean, he, he teaches this procedure to other people. So that's always a good sign. Look at my hair. Look how good my hair is. Look at that. I am rocking this look. And I've also had my, um, my parts bundled in a room full of people watching, which was the most uncomfortable experience I've ever had in my life. We're all set for tomorrow. Will be the big one. I just had to drink some medicine, which tasted like despair. That's the only way I can It was a tiny little cup of sorrow, like sweet, but bitter at the same time. There's all kinds of wrong going on. Nurse didn't speak Thai. No, I don't speak Thai. Nurse didn't speak English. I said, oh, is this medicine? She goes, you have. Okay, what is going to happen? She just smiled and walked away. So I'm expecting the gates of Khazad Doom to open in my nether regions at some point because something to look forward to. I have to be cleaned both inside and out ahead of surgery tomorrow. Big day is here. Every time they tell me I don't have to get naked with people anymore, it's a lie. I've got to get naked again. So somebody's coming to shave my unmentionables. <laughs> oh God. Honestly, this is not a procedure to have if you have any form of embarrassment about your body because gangs of nurses will come in and perform things <laughs> on you. Starting to get, I'm starting to taste anxiety now. The little worry demons are taking over and saying, what are you doing? Are you sure? Are you sure you should do this? Why don't you go home and have a nice cup of tea? They're saying to me. So tired, but I'm out of surgery. Everything went well. Almost bought with it, not gonna lie. Right, right at the point of anesthesia, anesthetic. I can't even say words, I'm so tired. Yesterday was weird because I was basically in theater all day. So it kind of feels like I got here yesterday because I was unconscious for all of yesterday. So the surgeon came around this morning to tell me, you know, about how things went. I have six inches of depth. Fun for you fact finders. We talked about things like labia minor and labia mi major, which are now parts of my anatomy. Yay! But he, he seems to be quite proud of the work he did, he said, because I have plenty of material to work with. I, I haven't seen it yet because it's covered in, like, literally. It's, it's, like a, it's, it's like a linen set of bandages. Um, and then pain-wise, I, I feel it's the most pain I've ever experienced in my life. So I, I always try to come off painkillers as soon as I can. And this morning I didn't take any pain relief. It was unbearable. And also, I'm going to show you this. This is called sweet water. I'm allowed to have that for electrolytes and a bit of energy. I think I'm pretty much off pain meds. I'm quite sore, but I've, I've stayed off painkillers now for about 10 hours. Also, I'm so hungry. All we can have is like um, rice soup. Which is great for weight loss, but oh my god, I, want, I just want a pizza or a burger or, a, or pretty much anything. I've had loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of messages. You guys are literally the best. Can't believe the messages I'm getting from everyone. It's amazing. There's a YouTube video gonna be going up shortly. <laughs> Please watch it. My friend Willow is in it and um, it's really funny. It's a little bit, it's bonkers. It's supposed to be a makeup tutorial. But it just became like chaos. A little update, because <clears throat> I didn't do one yesterday, because I forgot. So all is well. I'm pretty much off pain meds. Walking is a challenge, but I am up and I've managed to, to walk a bit. By all accounts, I'm healing faster than average. Although I like to pride myself in my ability to, to heal fairly quickly. I just get on with it. The food, for the first three days, I only ate soup. I said I don't like soup. They just got me some bread and some mystery things. And, and the mystery things are really nice. I've honestly no idea what they are. And the staff here are incredible. I don't know how, I don't know what other words to use. And funny, they laugh at my jokes, even though it's clear they've no idea what I'm talking about, which is always a good thing. I ha I've had one dressing change, and here's a thing, everything works. Now, at the moment, I've got stuff packed inside. When they change that dressing, holy mother of Elvis, fireworks were happening. I was like, you need to stop. <laughs> Exciting, shall we say. Not that I've been able to weigh myself, but I have no doubt that the weight loss will be significant because even if you aren't moving, 
when you're only eating about 600 calories a day, especially for bariatric surgery, yeah, weight loss is gonna happen. So there you go, the GRS diet. That's one for the Weight Watchers. To give a huge shout out to, you know, like Luke and everyone at the gym for just being so amazing with all the training, because I've put a lot of effort into being, you know, combat ready, if you will, before coming for this procedure. And that I think has paid huge dividends. My fitness levels have never been higher. And I think that has really, really helped. Nurses just came in with trolleys and, and all the packing has come off. The IVs are out. Other than, I've got a sugar drip, but the, the little blood thingies have come out. The catheter is out. All the packing is off and out. Oh boy, fireworks. I've done my first dilation and I've got my kit. I've got like a, like a, it's like a luxury gift set of dilators, different sizes to be uh, having fun with over the coming weeks and months. And I've had a lesson on how to dilate, which was the most surreal experience. Here we are. I'm now wearing underwear, Craigie. Seeing everything between my legs the way it was like meant to be. Man, and as everything is working and I've got sensation and over six inches of depth, <laughs> this is gross. Back at the hotel, going up the steps. Ow, 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 ow. Look like I'm bitten. Yeah, the little buggers. Checked out, everything went fine, which was amazing and nice. And the clinic honestly couldn't have done more. They were awesome. So everything down below is working just fine. Cosmetically, I mean, the swelling has gone down a little bit, but it's not what you would actually exactly call pretty at the moment. Um, and it's got some rather odd swelling, which swelling is part of the course. Um, dilation. Somebody asked me what dilation was. If you don't know what, it, what that is, then to not be crude, because basically my body has a new cavity. Bodies think, oh, I better heal that. So my body for a while will try its very best. Just like if you have pierced ears and they will eventually close up after a while. And my body will try to close um, my new parts. So I have to dilate with, um, well, a, a, a device, which I'll share on Facebook and Instagram shortly. I did plan to record my first food um, since hospital, my first actual food, but uh, it, I ate it. Sorry, that, that, that ship has flown and um, I ate it all up and it was amazing. Chicken and cheese sandwich. I'm going on a little adventure, only to the chemist next door. The traffic is absolutely bonkers here, like all the time. It's relentless. There's a chap selling mystery items on his bike. Don't even know what they are. Hooray for 7-Eleven. Pharmacy and cosmetic. I've been walked a block and I'm exhausted already. It's tiring, y'all. Not sure what snail white is meant to achieve. Voodoo. Booster sleeping creams. Red Bull. I don't know what sort of Red Bull that is, but it looks like Red Bull. Dun dun dun! So many mysterious <coughs> products. All of which I strangely feel I want to eat. And I am broken. Honestly, holy moly, that just ruined me. Don't underestimate just how much surgery really takes it out of you. And I had a good night's sleep. I slept for nearly 13 hours last night. I'm wearing some trousers right now I've never been able to wear before because even with a reasonable tuck going on, there was just too much to hide. Now, even after, even, even with all the swelling, ah, it's over, perfect. Crotch shot, back. Flappy, flappy. Started off the day with a shower and I went full on Hollywood shower. I'm talking both hands on the wall. You could almost hear some sort of, you know, cheesy soundtrack playing. Oh, it was amazing. I did a little cheeky little walk to the shop and back. Didn't die. And I'm much fitter than I was yesterday. Way, way, way fitter. Got back to the room, got ready, and then I had to go to the clinic for a very early appointment. A little bit of drama, first of all, on the way. The taxi driver, I wasn't really paying attention, and, and some of the streets here look quite similar. So the taxi took me to the wrong street. And I got out, because the buildings on one side of the street look the same. I got out, and realised I was in the wrong place. I was like, oh shit, I'm in the wrong place. Um, I better call the clinic. I'd lost my phone. I was like, oh no, I'm, I'm wearing this stupid big skirt and I had my, my jeans, my, my phone was in the pocket and it had fallen out on the back seat of the taxi and of course the taxi had driven off. So I'm like, oh, what do I do now? This is bad. Luckily, <laughs> this is luck. The taxi was turning around and then came back up the street. I was able to flag him down and get my taxi. I tried to explain we were in the wrong street. And he went, ha yes, yes. I, I, don't, I don't know the tie for, oh my God, I'm in the wrong street. So that was fine. But luckily I was only one street away, so it was no big deal. <laughs> but <laughs> drama alert. Got to the clinic, stitches out. 
and a full dilation on my own this time, completely on my own. Um, with supervision, I'm, I'm almost at seven inches. I don't think it's going to get any deeper than that. Now, I did this thing, okay? Now, don't judge because you would do the same thing too if you would just had this surgery. You would. I held my camera <laughs> down. I took some selfies from, from, a, from a unique angle, shall we say. And you would do it too, so don't judge. I can I hear you. Oh my God. Artistry has been involved. I'm, I'm stunned at how it looks. They're great. No pain. All the pain that I was feeling was from the stitches being there. As they've come out, things have relaxed a little bit. Nothing. Pain's gone. Going home in two days, although I'm not going to lie, I was dying to go home when I was in the surgery in the clinic. But at this hotel, honestly, if you're staying in Thailand and you want to stay somewhere not, not heart, in the heart of the area, Richmond, so good. In the car heading to the airport. I'm really going to miss it again. It's been amazing. And I'm absolutely tired. Quite a lot of walking on this one. I feel like I've just done a 5k or a 10k at pace. I'm burned out. I'm so tired. I'm just sitting here on the seat here thinking, oh, I'm done. So um, I'm just going to stay here. I've got, I've, got, I've got access to the lounge, but honestly, it's over there. Not that far. But I'm quite comfy here. And I can't be bothered moving. Speak to you in a bit. And so I am home. And here I am once again on the settee. Um, I, I, I was really bad at the end of this one. I, I finished recording at the airport and right after that last scene at the airport, I just, a wall of hurt and tired hit me. I got to the plane, I slept kind of restlessly on the plane and then it was late when I get it got into London and I drove home and I just didn't film anything. So I really have a big gap there. Although basically, long story short, pain, tired and travel kind of all happened all at once. That's the end of this little video. A follow on is coming up behind this, talking about things I wish I had known, things I didn't know, some unexpected outcomes. It's more of a, a list video is the one after this. But overall, I'm fine. I am tired. I'm far more tired than this video seems to show actually, because I look at the video and think, I'm so chipper and I think at the point when I was recording I felt pretty good but I seem to forget the fact that in between a lot of tired is happening and I'll be covering that in the next video. My trip to Thailand is over. Wearing pink pyjamas again. I seem to have lots of pink pyjamas. I need more colours in my pyjama draw it seems. Thank you so much for watching. As always I'd love to know what you think. Leave your comments below. Even you haters you guys you're so funny. Leave, leave the comments in the comment section below. Uh, like if you liked it. Do, do I like if you didn't like it. Share. If you want to see more of this sort of content then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that alarm bell. Keep you informed of everything I do. Popping up over there is the last video I put out and below that is the one YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the very next show coming up real soon. Bye.